All right, guys. Welcome to Outdoor Adventures. This is Frozen, and today we are at Laurel Highlands Hiking Trail. We're going to be doing about 24 miles, and it's about, that's, what is it, Josh, about 9 o'clock, 9.30? 9.30, yeah. And our goal is to find shelter. Last time we were up here was the middle of winter. Well, it was like the end of February, and uh, there was so much snow on the ground, it was up to our probably about knees. And uh, we walked around for about three hours, me and Josh, and we couldn't even find a stinking shelter. So luckily, we just had a park ranger come up and ask where we were headed and gave us some good directions. So turns out we were actually right where we were supposed to be, but we couldn't get down the hill because of all the snow, so we wouldn't have made it anyway. So here, here actually, I'll show you where we're going. Is right, are right here, and we are going to this right here. Tomorrow, we will head to the game lands, and we will go off the map into Ohio Pile, and that's where we'll stay, is right here. So let's get to it. Let's go. All right, dude. Let's go. Meet Josh. Howdy, Howdy. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do this. How you doing, Josh? Trying to see you. <laughs> what? Try to see! You see any blazes? No. No, no I seen it open. I was like, oh, it's right there. <laughs> no, we're going over there. It's flashlights and shit this way. Alright. Yeah, this is useless. I can't see anything. Okay. We are in number five now because someone was in our shelter. Alright. Let's make some camp. What's on today? Well, you can't really even see it. Ah. No, no matter. Good eating. Good chow. I do really like this shelter. Much better than a raccoon. Yeah, it's, it's nicer to get, you know, the thing breaks the wind, fires yeah. up off the ground, and he actually goes into the shelter. There's no smoke. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your sleeping bags aren't going to smell like smoke on the Laurel Island Street, I'll tell you that right now. As long as you do your fire right. So. Yup. Well, I think we're going to chill for the rest of the night. It's what, about midnight, Josh? Yeah, about midnight. About midnight? Yep. We're going to wake up early and get started on our 14-mile uh, hike through the state game lands and arrive at Ohio Pile Shelter. So, we'll see you guys in the morning. trail at every shelter they actually are awesome here and they cut all your wood for you make it real easy on you so we're hitting it we've got 12 miles today and uh, I'm almost out of fuel in the whisper light just not good but we cooked a whole bunch of bacon and it was bacon. absolutely delicious. delicious love bacon in the morning and camping oh my goodness had some oatmeal, some cafe mocha loca choca. <laughs> There's a water source right here. <laughs> so, we are headed to the Ohio Pile Shelter. And the terrain to get there should be. Eh, shouldn't be any elevation gain. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. It drops like 18,000 feet. Really? Sweet. So we couldn't, me and Josh couldn't do a trip without at least getting lost once, so we uh, faked getting lost. All right, Josh, we knew where we were the entire time. Well, we was on a trail. We were on a ski trail. 
But we're in the right direction now. We were too enthralled by how big the wood pile was, I guess. But, uh, Couple Come hundred on, feet up ahead. 20 minutes setback. We're good. 20 minutes. Not bad. A couple minutes from now, we'll finally be on the Little Highlands Trail and be on our way for real. We on our way somewhere. We just don't know where. We've actually never seen this in the daytime, even though we've been here twice now. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day out. It's kind of worried this morning. It looks like it was like gonna rain or something. We did that right there in what 18 inches, two feet of snow. What's funny is we did it That's why twice. <laughs> That's why we're dead. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, we gotta get some ground. That's where we came down. There's the car up there. And now we're officially on the Laurel Highlands hiking trail. Yay! Yay! This is so this cool. Wow. <laughs> What'd you do the other side? I've done a few trips out here. I never looked through the whole thing though. Yeah. I don't know where exactly. I don't remember. Figured you mine. This is about as far as we made it. Josh went a little farther. Yeah, this is what I was going down. This hill is crazy. Wow! Mm -hmm. Holy cow! <laughs> oh, we're going that way. I know we're going that way. That's where I went. That's crazy. Alright, so... Going down. Mile marker 18. We've almost won a mile. <laughs> We're already talking about cheeseburger time. Cheeseburger time. Ah. Uh, well, there's these like natural steps the whole way up the hills, though. These rocks formations are amazing. Boulder. Around the boulder, up the steps, around the boulder, and back down the steps. Every time we come past one of these giant rocks with a little cave under it, I'm thinking there's going to be a bear laying down, taking a nap. It's going to be me laying down. I'm probably louder than the bear. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt that. Not for a second. How you doing back there, Josh? Doing good. Doing good? Doing good. Enjoying the sights. Enjoying the sights. Oh. There are a great many sites around this area, though. I like it. He's getting really bored with raccoon. Probably been there eight times. And in the same loop. Conditioning. Crawfish are biting his toes. Really? Yeah. They were good eating, too, aren't they? Yeah, they were little, man. Oh. They think the size of the like down the Yeah. That's beautiful. Where the heck did your hat get so dirty? Or is it just dirty? <laughs> oh, okay. Workman hat. It's getting a little cloudy now. Yeah, no bugs. Yeah, I agree. Last night was pretty good too. Oh, yeah. Stars came out. I was, I was completely warm. Yeah, I, I was a little hot. Yeah. I think it got down to like what, 43, 42? Yeah, it's probably the car. So. Low 40s. So 
I guess I did a good choice of getting a 35 degree bag. So just remember, do your research. <laughs> research everything you can about your gear and before you actually use it when you need it, go out and try it when you can bug out with it. Slog, slog, it's big, it's heavy, it's wood. It's slog, it's slog, it's better than bad, it's good. <laughs> Delirious has set in already on our outdoor adventure to the Laurel Highlands. We ate some rogue M&Ms. Rogue M&Ms. You know what? That might be it, dude. That one was very weird looking. It's your fault. I asked you, should I eat this? And you're like, yeah, go ahead, dude. Like chocolate covered peanut. It's delicious. You never know what's in them. What was it called? Cheetos? <laughs> the deep fryer? Yeah, I think we refried right. Cheetos. That was the night, um... That was the, the first night of beer muffins? That was beer muffins tonight. First, you gotta peel your muffins. Remember that? We didn't have any milk. Yeah. So we were pondering, like, hmm, no one's going to the store now because we're completely wasted. And uh, what could we use to substitute milk for these delicious blueberry muffins? Beer. <laughs> and they actually came out really good. Yeah. If it's had a hard shell, you had to peel it. Yeah. A little crispy on the outside. Hey, it works. Beer Make muffins beer for the win. Well, this is pretty narrow up here. They got the blaze right on the rock. Yeah. Uh, a nice little walkway. Walk down me, I'm the walkway. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Wow. That is beautiful. Beautiful. That's nice. Very nice. You go hiking. You're on the trail and you gotta go. Don't piss on the trail. Step off the trail. Five foot look is a nice tree. Go there, not here. And we just passed a guy that was like hurrying up and zipping up his fly right as we passed. Like, dude, go behind a tree that is not on the trail. I don't wanna see that. Actually, we just passed about what, 40, 50 people? Yeah, probably. I don't know why you guys would do that. <laughs> I personally go hiking to get away from people. <laughs> I don't want to hike with 40 of you people. Holy hell, that's terrible. You know, a group of five maybe max. I don't know. How bad is the, the AT? As far as people goes? I heard the shelters were always crowded. And it depends on what time of year you go. Uh -huh. And where you go. Yeah. Last time I went, we went with four heads. Okay. It was nice. Nice trip. Little week. Interesting. So, that's pretty cool. Huh. This is absolutely beautiful out here. Alright, we just stopped for a little bit. We're by mile marker 11 now. And we're going to six and, mile marker 6.5. Uh, just stopped to uh, cook up some beef and chunky stew. Have an MRE. Just basically just having lunch. Got the hammock set up. Josh is uh, somewhere over in that direction on yonder. Looking for a hat that he dropped, I guess. I don't remember him dropping a hat, though. But, um... Yeah, we're getting a little tired now. A little tired now. But we're over halfway there, which is a good thing. And the sun is shining. And it is an absolutely beautiful day outside. It's a perfect day for this. I couldn't have asked for any better weather. And I'm having a great time. So we're going to finish our lunch and then get back on the trail. Up figures. You have good spots for lunch up until the point that you actually sit down for lunch. And then five minutes later down the road, after you've given up all hope and just had lunch and just gave in, you come up to another beautiful spot. Look at this. That is awesome. Yep. How you be, Josh? Good. Very good? 
I'm good. How's your hat doing? Chipmunk was wearing it last I saw it. <laughs> Damn chipmunks. These rock formations are amazing. This little guy right there. Like, you yeah. can see the cutouts. Yeah. Way to ride it every time. There are holes and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Well, we had to resort to putting our rain gear on and cover our packs. Josh has a uh, very expensive cover for his pack. Josh, yeah. want to tell the tell the folks what your uh, bag is? Bag pack has fifty gallon garbage bag. Fifty gallon garbage bag works. Perfect. Definitely works. Look how, look how stylish right. that is. Perfect. It's very very stylish, Josh. Hey, it's behind me. I can't see it. Wrong with my gears, Josh. Oh. Very stylish rain cover. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. I like it. I'll hook you up if you need it. Huh? I know a guy. I can hook you up if you need it. <laughs> well, his name Hefty? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, in a couple miles, we're coming up on a scenic overlook. I'm hoping it will be scenic. So, we shall see. Actually, there's two scenic overlooks on the way to our shelter now. I think we're about a little less than, a little over three miles somewhere on there. And uh, we will be there. It's raining quite hard now. Are you sure you don't want to stop? It ain't raining hard enough. I'm sweating more than this. <laughs> okay. I'm sweating more than this. Yeah. Right. Well, it's coming down pretty good. We still haven't stopped yet. Josh is swimming, he says. The issue is, we could have stayed under some of these giant rocks for shelter, but we're so freaking close to camp. You know, may as well. It's really great. Still not at this, this mystical scenic overlook either. I wonder where that is. We're supposed to hit two of them before we get to camp. Actually, this might be one of them since we're getting uh, kind of close to the ledge. Yeah, not gonna be able to see crap. It's getting a little chilly out here too, dude. Oh, well, the weather changes a lot on the mountains. Now it's a uh, Sunny and blue skies all around. So, after encountering a rain, downstorm rain pour, switches weather only just like that. So, always got to be prepared. Might be able to see the scenic overlook after all. Looks like we got clear visibility. Oh, what? These rocks. Are a pain in the buns. Oh yeah. They're everywhere. They've been on the entire trail since we started. Well, the camera's not going to do it justice, but here's our view from this first scenic overlook. It's worth it. Definitely worth it. Yeah, they all take a picture. Yeah. You can still see the storm over there too. So, five seconds after we got off the overlook, Josh saw some lightning, and there was some thunder, and we have about a mile to go, and it, from the distance of the overlook, it just looks like an insane storm coming. So, the wind has picked up, so we're treading back, trying to make it back to the shelter before this thing really starts. Problem is, we're real up high right now on the mountain, like the tallest peak. <laughs> We're about to head down soon. So, man, here comes the rain. Oh, the wind! Dude, this might be a bad storm, man. Yeah, I'm 
went from. Really? I just think it's funny that within 30 minutes, it's rained, been blue, beautiful blue sky, and then it's thundered. Lightning storm now. Yeah. Yep. Welcome to the mountains. Yeah. Well, we are heading down, down, down. This is a. Uh, it's pretty rough. There's, plus, there's loose rocks underneath your feet. I already took a dive. I slipped. Yeah. It's still raining again, and we see the shelters, but we're still going down this wretched hill. This is like the hill of no return. I mean, they're, I mean, they're way down there. You can barely even see them. We're still thousands of feet up. Yeah, Josh and I were talking about ordering a pizza. That may or may not happen. We shall see once we get settled and if it ever stops raining for longer than five minutes. There's the shelter. Shelter area. Straight down the hill. Ugh. We have finally arrived. We are the farthest away shelter too. Look where we came though. Holy crap. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, let's get set up here. Oh. Jeez. Making yeah. fire. It's almost child time. Oh man. It's what about seven o'clock you said, right? Quarter after now. Quarter after seven. Got our fire going, about to cook up some food. Some delicious food. What a day. Good day. But what a day. So this is our view from our shelter. We've got some nice running water via the creek. It's actually really, really relaxing after a long, hard day of hiking. It's perfect. Looking forward to falling asleep to that noise. Well... I'll be falling asleep to that noise. Plus, uh, yeah, Josh's, bear. plus Josh is snoring. The, the grizzly bear. bear. Comes out. <laughs> the bear's coming a out. Nice fire going already. Filtered some water. We're getting ready to cook. Cooking up some rice. Woo! So, Josh, what did you think about the hike today? I liked it. I enjoyed it. A little rough terrain, but. Yeah, a little sore. A little. Bottled the ankle a little bit. You know. Got something that'll help with that, though. Thank you. Bacon? <laughs> bacon fucking cures everything. Yeah, you have to lay bacon on your wounds. Wrap your body in bacon. Don't and need this Ye more. shall feel anything. <laughs> None of that batch of tracing shit. Just bacon. <laughs> Bacon all the time. If I could have bacon for breakfast, lunch, and dinner one day, that'd be freaking awesome. Actually, we're, we're, what's really funny, if we would have had it for lunch, we could have done that today. Yeah, we'd probably make some bacon wrapped hot dogs. Yeah. Bacon wrapped hot dogs. Did you put bacon in there? No, nah, it's water. I'm having coffee. Oh. Hot chocolate or something. Oh, that's a good that'd idea. Be that's a good idea. <coughs> There's enough water there for another cup. No. no. Man, the sound of that creek, I love it. It's nice. Be out like a light until Josh starts snoring. So I didn't I told you this story, I didn't tell them this story, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell them about the grizzly bear last night. <laughs> so at like, I don't know, like two, three in the well it had to have been three in the morning or so. I wake up and hear like like a grizzly bear like I'm like oh shit there's a grizzly bear in our shoulder with me and I'm like no it's just Josh is snoring that's me it's what I do <laughs> yes yeah I know mm -hmm. <laughs> off the tablets I put my special tablets in there. Yeah, that is some yeah. fine water So what's that bacon doing over there? Trying to cook. Chilling. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna last, dude. That's all right. That means you don't get no bacon. 
Well, I eat it all. How about? <laughs> you know what? I'll put it in your sleeping bag with you. Well, here, here's there's one of two things that could possibly happen. We can actually let this cook all night <coughs> and eat fresh, delicious bacon tomorrow, or we could let it cook all night and a wild animal will probably eat it and it won't be there in the morning. Which one do you think is more? I think it'll actually cook all night and it will be charcoal tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, that smells more realistic, huh? Man. I did that at home before. What, cook charcoal? Me and my little buddy. No, we were hungry. We were all drunk. That's a big surprise. <laughs> I, put, I put chicken on the grill, right? Yeah. We both fell asleep. Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, wait a minute, up in wait. the morning, there's a whole, whole chicken breast. Like, seriously, they were this big. There was, I think, three or four of them, whatever were cooked. Like the sitting Chucky on, doll and Chucky Sitting one. on the top thing. It was ash. It still looked perfect like a chicken breast. And, and as soon as you it, touched it, it crumbles. It's terrible. That's a great story, well, dude. What is some damn chicken, dude? We'll see you tomorrow for day three. <laughs> You can go a little more. All right. There's Jason filtering out some water. Making water potable. Six miles today. Josh, are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get out of here. You got your trekking pole? Yeah, your walking stick? Hey, don't knock it, dude. I'm not knocking it. it I'm using them. It works. They do work. I agree. Especially going down that hill, you need something. Yep. Well, I guess we are going way back up again. I've been walking uphill for like 30 minutes. Maybe. Maybe 20. But uh, we think we almost reached the summit and you can start to see the, the Yakagani River below us. So we'll pretty much follow that out. Just waiting on my best buddy Josh. He's coming. Woo. That over and under killed me, boy. Yeah. It was like up and down, up and down, and then up, 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 up. We're on a long shit. Woo. Yeah. Ankle's sore. Yeah. It looks like it's mellowing out though, but yeah. Every time we turn a bend, it's like, oh, here's another hill for you. And then a bug flew right in my eyeball. It's alright. You ate one, yeah. No. Oh. What's really funny, all that ways we walked up, we're still nowhere even close to where we came down yesterday. Yeah. The top of that ridge is where we walked down. A mile of walking down. <laughs> oh, here's mile marker five, too. Yeah, I figured we'd be getting close. Yeah. Well then, yeah, that was one mile uphill. <laughs> That's a beautiful sight. Well, we're still hiking uphill, but at least we're getting rewarded with the scenery. Oh, I can't, I'm not complaining, no. Ooh. The sun's shining. Cloudy skies. It's a beautiful day out. I want to thank you guys for joining us. Probably almost at, I think we're almost at mile marker four or it's going to weigh us down uh, probably. 
10, 15 on that. Yeah. It's been a great trip so far, though. Rocks yeah, except for the loose rocks. Yeah, exactly. It's so peaceful here. I love it, dude. Nice and quiet. The birds are chirping. It's nice oh. and relaxing. You know, this, uh, they have the Laurel Highlands Running Marathon or whatever it's called. Uh -huh. And people run this whole thing, all 70 miles in one day. Can you imagine that? The running on something like this? Be awesome. With all them loose rocks? Like before, they it's may something. Skip that part. Huh? They may skip that part. What part? No, it's from mile marker one to seventy. Every year they have it. I don't know. It's like a big thing. I don't know how anybody can run up that damn hill. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And plus the hills, the hills plus the rocks, the plus the vines. Pray to God you have good weather. Yeah. Just imagine doing that in the rain on top of everything. He were. Some people are extremely fit. This looks like a good place. Stuff for lunch or something, maybe. I'm just talking to them. <laughs> Go ahead, cross. Huh? So this is the weight limit on this bridge. I'm kind of fat. Josh is having some knee issues here. Now he's taking his time up this hill. This hill's rough. It's just like, just all stone. The entire, oh well, this part's not, I think we're past the hard part. So like right here, oh man, it's rough. How's that hill treating you dude? <laughs> I'm out of breath. Out of breath. Out of legs. That was pretty rough. Advice for people hiking the beginning to Ohio Pile to the shelter area. It's a rough hike. Only probably plan on six miles maybe your first day, unless you're you know, unless you've been doing this a while. Yesterday from 6:53 to the Ohio Pile shelters. You know, from mile marker 18 to mile marker, what, six or seven, six and a half. That was about, you know, that was, it was a decent hike. It wasn't too tiring, but toward the end, I was just like, okay, I'm ready to be at the shelter and relax. So, I definitely would not recommend going from a south to north route, starting at mile marker one or zero. And heading to 70 if you're doing a through hike because uh, I can't imagine walking up that hill that we did yesterday so definitely uh, definitely go the other way go from 70 to zero Almost. 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 We're halfway done with today's hike. Mile marker three. Three more miles left. This trail's kind of nice. I like this. Nice, beautiful, flat trail. The top of a mountain. I know we're going to have to head back down, though. Huh? Yeah, I doubt it. Huh? I highly doubt it. Oh, sure. I guarantee this won't continue. Maybe they put a water slider. Yeah. Here is where we hiked down yesterday. We came down here in Ohio Piles, like right through there. And then we came back up and went over to here. And then we came down. And then we came back up. And now we're here. That, wow, <laughs> just seeing it from back here, oh, yeah. oh my god, that is a 
beast of a hill. Mountain. <laughs> so when are we doing Everest, dude? Five years from now, maybe? Five years. I thought it was the end of next year, a couple months ago. I know, fuck it. We'll just do it tomorrow. All right. <laughs> go home, reload. Did you hear about the avalanche that happened? They killed 20 people. Uh -uh. 15 to 20 people died a couple weeks ago. That's sad, man. Yeah. Spend all that money. You train all that time. You go for the you know beautiful experience, and you just never come back, never even see it. Yeah. Yeah. If everybody did, it wouldn't be worth it. Yeah. Well, I think it's still be worth it for the view. I need to get like some kind of small laser and put it aimed where the lens is facing mm -hmm. so I can just see where the dot is. That'd be a good idea for a camera, actually, for doing stuff like this, like on a GoPro or something. Yeah. And again, for our efforts, we get rewarded. God, I love hiking. Look at that. That's beautiful. Another little lookout over here. Uh, wow. Jesus. Wow. Magnificent. It's the Yakagani River. Whew. You can actually see the train tracks almost to the bottom of this hill, mountain, whatever you want to call it. This terrain is wicked. Trekking poles recommended. My marker one. One more to go. One more mile. Huh? One more mile, dude. One mile. A mile to go. That's it. And then what are we doing? I don't know. Hey, Wendy's. Wendy's. <laughs> Some spicy chicken up in here. Definitely spicy chicken. Just past a group of two groups of climbers actually. And some wall climbing on these rocks over here. I get the I guess this would be a good place to practice, huh? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I need a sign, Josh. I need a sign. You know what kind of sign I'm looking for? That sign, parking area. That may as well say this way to cheeseburgers. Yes. Oh. Oh, here we go. Blue Blaze. Last half mile. Definitely had a good time on this trip. But I'm definitely looking forward to some Wendy's. It is going to be delicious. Oh.
What'd you think, Josh? Overall, good trip? Yeah. I liked it. Sore, you know. Yeah, that'll happen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, got a Well, that's a big ass hill up ahead. Wanted to throw one more beast hill in before we go back to the car. So, we are finally down. Finally out of here. Very good hike. Except for the end of day two and the end of day three. <laughs> oh man, what a workout. Thanks for joining us guys. And uh, be smart, stay safe, and I'll see you on the trails.